Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining our March webinar, Top 10 Apps and Tech Tools for Realtors. Our goal at Allison James is to always give back to our agents by providing education, training sessions, live webinars, live events, and full broker support with the most up-to-date tools and technology available. We are always looking for new tools and ways to be able to provide them to our agents at a lower or discounted price so you can keep your hard-earned money for the important things in life and the people you love. We have created the AJI University, which give you, gives you access to all of our recorded educational webinars, our event calendar to view and register for our upcoming webinars and live events, and tons of free tools. This site is open to all agents, so please feel free to log in today. Allison James Estates and Homes is a nationwide real estate brokerage which offers 100% commission and 100% support. Why split your commission if you don't need to? You've earned it all, so shouldn't you keep it all? With plans starting at just $35 per month, we have plans that cater to agents of all levels of production. And as Allison James continues to grow, we will be providing more of these free tools to help you grow your business. I would like to now introduce Shelly Hoyseth, Senior Loan Officer with our preferred lender, Movement Mortgage. Good morning, Shelly. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, Allison James. Um, I wanted to just talk a little bit this morning. Uh, Victoria is going to be talking about apps and some cool ways that really kind of help you generate more business and get leads and all that good stuff. So. One thing I want to talk about is that as you guys are getting your leads, then obviously from there you have to gain the trust of the client. Um, you're working with your buyer, your seller, you're competing with other agents probably. Um, hopefully not. Maybe you're just in like Flynn, but um, in most cases you are competing. And having a team by your side and backing you up is really important because there is nothing worse than having a deal fall out a week before closing, or really any time during closing, not only is your client upset with you, but probably your son or daughter's upset with you because now their graduation party is messed up, or your wife's upset because your Hawaii trip is no longer possible because you're not getting that big commission. So at some point, you need to have commission insurance. And I really believe that um, Movement Mortgage can help you with that. Once the deal goes into escrow, I mean, let's face it, the most important person on the team is the lender. So if you are at all timid about the lender in your transaction, that's a very uneasy feeling. I've been in the real estate business myself as a realtor, and it's no fun having uh, you know calls not being answered on the other end, et cetera, when you're trying to find out what's going on in the process with your lending. So most of you know that Movement Mortgage has a seven-day processing goal, and 70% of the time we meet that goal. Um, so that makes your 20, 30-day closings a snap, right? Those of you that have worked with me know that we do close on time. So I very rarely ever, ever, my goal is never uh, to extend escrow. We're usually closing early. I just did one with an agent here in California. It was a VA loan, and we actually closed I think two weeks early, and the reason we closed early is because they wanted to. The landlord, you know, didn't want to give them as much notice. So anyway, um, what I want to talk about with Movement Mortgage is the exciting thing about us is we were open in 2008. We started our doors in the middle of the financial crisis. So you might think that our founder was kind of kooky wanting to uh, start a business in the middle of the biggest mortgage crisis ever, but he did. And we've gone from four employees to now over 3,000 employees in 350 locations in 40 states. Uh, we are growing like crazy. Some of you may have received the email that shows um, our new headquarters that they've just opened up on the East Coast. And we continue to grow our operations here on the West Coast. We do have our underwriting and processing funding teams here for us on the West Coast as well. Um, the reason that Movement Mortgage is, is growing so much is because we are a realtor-centric company. We value our realtor partners through advertising service agreements, and um, that's why we have our partnership with Allison James Estates and Homes. And 
it helped you guys to be able to keep more of your commission by um, being able to market together and advertise together to um, you know benefit all. Uh, our goal is to have a referable experience at the end of this. So when I meet with clients, one of the first things that I talk with them about is what is your goal? A they always want to talk about, oh, I want to buy a house that's 500000 or 200000 or whatever. But what I want to know is what is their budget? If their budget is 2000 a month or it's 1000 a month or 5000 a month, I want to know what their comfort zone is so that I can cater their process around their budget. Um, if they choose or they qualify for more and they choose to expand their budget, that's up <clears> to them. <throat> but uh, myself and Movement Mortgage, our goal is not to simply cram as much house into a client as they can possibly qualify for. We want it to fit into their budget, for them to be comfortable, for them to continue to make those mortgage payments long term, strengthens the company, it strengthens your referral um, in the end, and it just makes everybody happy in the end. Um, it also ensures stability for movement mortgage and for the industry. We just had a mortgage company that was pretty big here in California. They just closed their doors suddenly two days ago. Um, you know, they were cutting corners in certain areas and um, they're now gone. So, you know, movement mortgage, as far as cutting corners, we don't ever cut corners on compliance. So we want to always make sure that we're in compliance, both with RESPA, with you guys, and, you know, with the CFPB. We don't cut corners on technology. We have the top technology for getting deals through the system quickly, for staying on top of TRID, for getting all the disclosures in. Our technology is why we can be efficient and still be compliant. Um, we don't cut corners on processing. We do everything up front. We fully underwrite the files before they go out. I'm looking for homes so everybody knows exactly where they stand. Um, where we do cut corners is in time. We save time in the transaction. Time for the realtor, time for the clients, shortened contingency deadlines. It's all good stuff. So um, reach out to me if you have any questions, if you have any um, scenarios you want to run by me. We do offer pretty much every residential loan program that's out there nationally. And um, if you want to have a referral for a movement mortgage loan officer in your area, let me know and I'll be happy to find one for you. So that is it and I will pass it back over to Victoria. Perfect, thank you so much, Shelley. Okay, everyone, I am so excited about today's webinar. I have spent a ton of time recently looking up new apps and tools that are out there, which I think realtors can really benefit from. So I have put together a list of my top 10 picks, which are displayed on the screen here. Maybe you have heard of some of these, maybe you haven't, um, but today we are going to go over all of them. So we have RE Clarity, um, Coach Simple Real Estate, Streak, Nextdoor.com, Cam Scanner, Hello, Caller ID and Blocking, the Breakthrough Broker website, LastPass, and last but not least, Gmail Checker. So there's our overview. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump in and let's get started. First on my list is Streak. This is a Google Chrome extension which offers a few different things for you. Uh, my favorite part of this is it has an email tracker built in, which can show you if someone has opened your email, when it was opened, um, how many times it was opened, from what device, and where. So you know that more so than not, you wish you knew if someone had opened your email or if it was just lost in space. Um, but with Streak, you can track um, when it was opened, if it ever was, and um, you also have a free CRM system in your inbox, which I know a lot of people are always looking for CRM systems. Um, so this is definitely a great tool. Um, it will help you with, keep track of your emails, um, your conversations, sales, and leads. Now, Streak offers a free plan, which includes power tools um, such as snoozing emails, um, you can choose a time and, um, and a date for them to appear at the top of your inbox, which I particularly love. Um, you also have a send later option, which you can create emails and set them to go out at a later date or time, which can also be extremely helpful. 
Um, so with the free plan, you have 200 tracked emails per month. If you'd like to, um, if you'd like to upgrade to the um, to the tracking uh, unlimited tracking plan, that's only $19 per month. So totally up to you. I use the free version, and I just think it's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you um, how you would download Streak onto um, into your inbox. You're just going to need to go to streak.com. And um, hopefully everyone can see this on here. Um, yeah, if you go to streak.com, it's really, really easy. Um, right in the middle of the page, you can see mine says streak has been installed. So that will bring me straight to my Gmail inbox. Um, if you have not installed streak yet, this will just say click to install. And um, it will install within a few seconds and open up in your inbox right away. Um, so I'm going to show you what it looks like in your inbox once you have installed Streak. And I have my email open here. Um, I'm going to first show you how you can see the email tracking. So I sent an email earlier, and so it's going to obviously be in my sent mail here. And um, when I click on this, you see the, um, the green eye, that means that, that my email has been opened. Now, if um, it hasn't been opened, the, um, the eye will not be lit up. It'll just be um, gray. So you know how many times um, it shows you here one view. If you click for details, it will tell you some more information. And here on the right-hand side, you have the tracking. Um, I can see that it was open four hours ago at um, 9.38 Eastern time. And it was viewed from, uh, from Gmail, my actual computer. If it was open from uh, a cell phone, it will show on here. And, um, and it usually tells you where exactly it was open from. You will see that if you install it on your computer. Now, that's how you check to see the tracking. As you can see over on the right-hand side as well, I have my box info. Now, this is part of the CRM system, which is available here in, um, in Streak. So to use the CRM system, I'll just show you quickly. Over on the left-hand side here, if you are using Gmail, you will see your pipeline. Now, I have already created one, and it's called sales-crm. Now, I'm going to show you there's a few different options you can choose from, um, but here's one I have already created. As you can see, I have put in my name, so I'm just using myself for example. For an example, I am the lead in here. It's been assigned to me. You can go ahead and add other collaborators in here and assign them to the lead to someone else. So there's a lot of um, stuff you can do in here. Um, you can make notes to see if um, you've contacted that person, um, what, whatever's gone on. Now, over on the left-hand side, right where my name is, this is going to open up my box. Now, the box is where you will keep all of the information for the file or for your contact. So as you can see, when I click on that, um, I have the name of my contact here or my lead. I can add notes in here. Um, any of the emails which I have included in this box um, will stay um, here under the contents. I can add a task or a reminder. I can edit the call log to display whether I have spoken to this lead or if I have left voicemail. Um, you can keep all of your information here in, in one area. It's a really great tool. And um, you can put me uh, meeting notes, pretty much whatever you need, all directly in your inbox, which um, is hard to find. I know there's a lot of CRM systems available, but uh, they're not really in your inbox like this is. So, it's um, definitely a great tool. Again, this is um, this is Streak. Now, oh, there was one other thing. I'm sorry, I'm um, getting ahead of myself here. I did want to show everyone how you create one of these boxes. Um, where it says pipelines here, you'll see the button for new. 
and you're going to create a new pipeline. Now, as I had mentioned, there are a few different options. You can use this as a sales and CRM system. Um, they also have just a real estate category. So you can track your home buyers or sellers and manage your closings. Really, really great tool to keep all of your emails in one place. Um, you can categorize them by the property address or, um, or whatever you need to do. So date of the closing. Um, you can create your own pipeline in here for anything. So um, it would just be, um, it's really easy to set up. You just select real estate here. I'm not going to um, do the full demonstration, but it does walk you through step by step on how to um, create your new pipeline. So this is a really great tool. Um, I love Streak. Again, my favorite part about it is that I can see when um, people have opened my emails. So it's definitely a great thing. Um, and again, if you just go to streak.com, you will be able to um, download that extension. Okay, so that was Streak. And now next on our list, I have Gmail Checker. Um, this is another extension for, um, for Chrome. It's a great little tool. There's not much to it, um, but um, I'm sure that you've uh, been browsing the web before and didn't realize that you had an email you had been waiting to arrive. Um, and it can be frustrating to go from one tab back to another, refresh your inbox. This is a great thing. Um, like I said, it's just an extension to Google Chrome. And once you download it, at the very top of your browser, you will see this little icon here. And it will have the number of unread emails um, in your inbox. So when you click on that at the top of your browser, it will automatically take you to, um, to your inbox. It's really neat, instead of having to type in um, gmail.com or go back to Google, refresh the page, you can see at the very top if there's a new email which has come in and um, it can take you directly to it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now. If you just Google uh, Gmail Checker, it is going to be the first thing that comes up for Gmail Checker. Um, so it will take you to the uh, Chrome Web Store here and um, you'll see once you click on the Google Mail Checker, um, right here it will say install. As you can see, obviously I have already added this to Chrome. So um, it's super easy. You'll see I have 501 unread messages, which is a little crazy. But um, once you click on that, it will just automatically take you to your inbox. So really simple, really neat, just something that I think um, can help you out if you're browsing the web, doing something else. Um, you can always see up at the very top right hand corner if an email has just arrived. So that one is Gmail Checker. I really do like that one. I think it's pretty neat. Next we have um, Coach Simple. It is um, actually RE Coach. Dot me. It's a real estate business planning, training, and coaching platform. Um, it helps agents, brokers, managers, executives um, all set up business plans. It also shows you um, some new skills, and it has a, um, a virtual one-on-one -on -one coaching. So um, the coaching is to help you overall earn more commissions. So it is a really great site. I actually just found out about it not too long ago. And um, I just think it's a great tool for agents, especially newer agents. Um, obviously, it's a great tool for everyone. But sometimes being a newer agent, you need some ideas on how to generate more leads and, you know, how to actually get started. So um Coach Simple, definitely a great website. I'm going to actually bring you onto it right now and just show you some of the features that they have available in here. 
Um, all you need to do is go to recoach.me. Um, over on the right hand side, you will see the real estate agent launch, try it free. Simply type in your email address, click on sign up. This is a free system, so you're not paying for this. You will receive an email. You just need to follow the instructions, create your free account. Um, now, here are some bullet points as well, what, um, what they offer here on the website. Create your business plans, establish target markets, um, schedule a plan of attack, um, targeting, learn how to target new markets. They have the one-on-one -on -one coaching um, or the virtual coaching. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here at the very top right hand corner. Once you are logged in here, you will see your dashboard, um, which will list all of your active programs. As you can see here, I have all active programs. Um, and when I click on one of these, it will show my progress. So for example, I'd like to log into my business plan for 2016 here, which I have started, um, have not finished it yet. It's still in progress. Um, and you will see that in here, when you click on some of these sections, it will have a video which walks you through what you need to do. Um, it's just like an introduction. So this very first one, if I click on the um, business plan introduction, you will see this. Um, these videos come up all over the place on this website. So it's neat. You have kind of that connection. They walk you through everything you need to know. Um, once you have watched all the videos, you can either add in a note here, what you'd like to remember from it, um, and then you can save and complete. That will mark that section as completed. Now, um, in here, um, in my business plan for 2016, I have business tools and strategies. I apologize, everyone. I don't know why my computer is ringing here. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. And um, in my business tools and strategies, I have, um, let's see, ways to generate new business. And um, there's a few examples here, set up birthdays, database, and process. So um, what you need to do is just click on the drop down here and you can see um, all of the different months. So this whole plan is to obviously set up what months you'd like to start doing um, each of these things. So you have a plan of attack, you know exactly what you're doing, what month. So these are all um, ways to generate new business. Then you have um, ways to win listings and buyers every time. Um, personalized and improved CMA toolkit and pre-listing packet. Um, you can choose whichever month you'd like to start um, to start on that. So definitely some great ideas for you in here. Um, and then you can obviously write notes down here at the bottom and click on save and complete. Now um, you can add team members into your portal as well. If you go to um, my team here, you can add other people into, um, into your account. Simply type their email address, and then you can also track what they have going on. Um, so when you add team members into your portal, you can assign um, sales activity worksheets and marketing schedules with them. Um, if you're managing a team under the agent launch section, you can track their activity um, simply by um, simply by clicking on the scorecard section. As you can see, this is just showing for me. Um, these are just examples that I've put in here right now. But once you have your team in the system, you can track, um, like I said, their sales activity, the calls goal, the appointments goal, the showings, um, 
all of this stuff in here. So it's a really cool tool. There's a ton of things you can do inside of this website. Um, so I could probably spend another 45 minutes on this one, but we do have quite a few other tools to get to. So remember, if you go to recoach.me, um, this is where you can create your free business plans and there's a ton of other stuff available. Okay. And next up on our list, we have LastPass. I don't know who um, decided to create this, but they're a genius. If you're like me, you have what seems like a different password for everything. I actually um, had a spreadsheet just to keep track of all my passwords um, before I found LastPass. And with this system, all you need to remember is one password. That's your master password. And that is the last and only password you need to remember because this system will keep track of all of them for you. So if you go to lastpass.com, you will see, I will actually go ahead and pull it up for you here on the screen. LastPass. Um, if you go to just lastpass.com, at the very top right hand corner, it will say download. Um, once you download it onto your computer, um, that way it will store all of the passwords that, um, that you type in. So it will autofill for you if you download that on your computer. Now, um, once you log in, you can actually log into the web based. Um, into your web-based account. So if you are on another computer um, that is not yours and you do not want to obviously have the autofill of your passwords, um, you can just access your passwords in what I am in right now. That's your web-based portal. So um, in here, once you have created your free account, as you can see, I am logged in as a free user. Um, down at the bottom right-hand corner, You'll see I can add a site, I can add a secure note, share an item with someone else. Uh, maybe I have someone on my team who also needs the password to just one of, um, one of my logins. I can do that, I can share that with someone else. Or you can add a new folder. Now, LastPass is very secure. Um, I feel comfortable keeping all of my passwords in here. I know they have tons and tons and tons of users. Um, so I wouldn't be really alarmed about keeping your passwords in here. It seems like it is um, a really safe site and they do stress that. Now to, um, to add your passwords, all you do is simply click down at the bottom right hand corner where it says add site. You'll see you just type in the URL, um, your name, username, password, and any notes. Once you click on save, for example, if this was my Facebook um, login information, here on my home screen, I would see the Facebook logo, and then I could just click and access, um, access my login information. So really, really, really great idea. This is lastpass.com. Um, the only thing I want to stress is that um, you have to remember your master password to log in here because from what I understand is extremely hard to get that, um, that master password if you have forgotten it. So um, just make sure it's something that you will always remember and, um, and then you'll have all of your other passwords securely in this one section. Really great. Um, I love LastPass, love that website. Okay, so now we are going to go on to BreakthroughBroker.com. Um, this is a really, really, really great site for realtors. Um, its main goal is to help agents be more successful and more efficient. It's pretty much your one-stop shop for real estate strategies, ideas, tools, and um, techniques. The site was created by two top producing realtors. Um, so they obviously know as agents what other agents need and what they're looking for and, um, and what was hard for them to find as an agent. So um, they've decided to, I believe it was in 2011, they decided to create this website, breakthroughbroker.com. 
and um, it just has so much on here for agents. The best part is it's free. So we love BreakthroughBroker.com. Um, I will go ahead and show you right now what we have um, or what they have in here. If you go to BreakthroughBroker.com, um, you will just need to create your free account on here. Now they have things like um, business, um, sorry, not business plan, listing presentation templates, buyer presentation templates, um, flyers, postcards. I'm actually going to show you um, some of those, but they're all customizable templates. So you can input your information or whatever you need to um, without having to worry about doing the design portion of it. So really great idea. Now, as you can see on the home page here, once you have created your free account, you'll just need to log in. They have different sections. So they have create, succeed, learn, and share. Under the create section is where they have all of their templates. Now, um, as you can see, there's a ton of different things they have, the real estate brochures, real estate postcards, door hangers, um, real estate letters. Maybe you're looking for um, a direct mail letter to send out. They have a ton of different stuff in here. When you click on each of these subsections, you will find um, different templates. So for example, what I wanted to show you was um, real estate postcards. Now, if you click on this, you'll see they have different, uh, the different templates, the buy versus rent postcard, um, the magic postcard, just listed postcard, recent sales, and the list goes on. So it's really easy to, um, to create these postcards once you have the template. So for example, I've created one of the just listed postcards and I want to show you what um, what it looks like. So when you click on whichever you would like to create, you'll see down at the bottom here, um, choose your delivery option below. You have the option to create your free PDF and they will email it directly to you once it's done. Um, you can also um, have the prints shipped directly to you. Now there is a charge for that. But if you want the, um, the free PDF, uh, this is what I have done. So it's on my next tab right here. I took the um, just listed postcard template and I uploaded my pictures. Um, obviously this is an example listing here. Um, I, uh, it's really easy. They just have the buttons here. You upload an image from your computer, click finish, and it automatically appears. It even tells you exactly where it's going. So I know this is the front, the picture which is going to be on the front of the postcard. Um, this is the picture which is on the back, and that closet is amazing. So you want to obviously, you know, put the best pictures on here. Um, also, you have the front message. Um, this will appear on the very front of your postcard. And looks like that is taking a while to load. I'm not sure why. Might be my connection here. But um, so just fill in exactly what it tells you to do on here. Super easy. Um, put in a message for the front. Property location will appear at the very top. Um, property price, uh, features, make sure you include your name. There's also an area for you to upload your picture. So that will appear on the very front of the postcard. Um, also your um, company logo, you can put that on there and um, all of your contact information and the company information. Um, also, make sure if you are licensed in California that you include your Cal BRE license number in here. There is an area for you to put it in. So, oh, there we go. It's, um, it's actually loaded here. So this is the back of the postcard I've created. You see it has a little different section for my contact info, the features, uh, my image, 
looks great on the back. And then it has half of the postcard is blank because that's, of course, where the addresses are going to be printed. So it took me, I would say, roughly about three minutes to create this beautiful postcard. Um, and then once you have created your postcard, you can just click on continue to delivery or download options. Um, and it, this site is taking a while right now. Usually it's, I mean, extremely fast. So I don't know what, uh, maybe it's because I've had the tab open for a while. But when you click on continue to delivery or download options, um, since you are signed into your account, it will automatically email this to you. So you do not have to pay for the um, PDF version of it, it will just automatically uh, send that over to you. So those are the postcards in Breakthrough Broker. As I had mentioned, a ton of free templates here in the Create section. Succeed, you have um, also real estate business planning, uh, new agent tools. As I had mentioned, you know, a new agent starting out um, there's some great things in here which, um, which they have for uh, new real estate agents. Some motivation, um, checklists, another great, um, a great thing available in here. They have a ton of different checklists. And then under their learn section, they have social media tools. Um, we all know how important social media is nowadays, uh, getting your name out there. Uh, they have email marketing ideas, real estate lead generation ideas. Everyone's always looking for ways to generate more leads. Um, expert interviews, uh, a lot of stuff here in the learn section. And then in their section uh, share, they have free blog content for realtors. How great is that? So if you do have your own blog, they actually provide articles on here, which they allow other agents to, um, to use. So this is BreakthroughBroker.com. Again, this site was made by realtors for realtors. So, um, so they definitely know what they were doing with this site. We love it, BreakthroughBroker.com. Okay, and now we are going to go to RE Clarity. Um, this is available in the App Store. Um, this app actually creates video messages, and it is the first video messaging app just for real estate professionals. So the videos are created by combining pictures and your voice behind, you know, to add that personal touch. Um, you can create videos on anything. Uh, just a few examples would be um, showing pictures of a property to a client who's out of town, showcasing the key features they would love, um, reporting and describing some property damage, or a follow-up with clients, um, just questions that they had had um, with a personal touch. Instead, instead of just sending an email, you can actually um, you can actually have your voice on there send the video. So I think this is really cool. Um, all you need to do is go to the App Store or reclarity.net and um, the free version provides three images and 30 seconds of recording time. <clears throat> Um, if you pay just a one-time fee, it is, um, this is reclarity.net. The one-time fee is $4.99. It's not a monthly fee. Um, it's just a one-time fee. And uh, you actually get then 12 images and two full minutes of recording time per video. So if you pay the $5 fee, it goes from three images and 30 seconds up to two um, two minutes and 12 images. So totally up to you. Um, the free version is still great, three images and 30 seconds. So um, this is just, I think, really a great app, especially for realtors when, you know, you want to connect with your clients who might be out of town and, um, and still keep that personal touch and staying in contact. So that is RE Clarity. I can't really show um, show too much because I don't have um, 
because I can't show you my cell phone right now, so uh, here on the webinar, but it is um, definitely a neat video messaging app instead of having to, um, to type text messages. So that is RE Clarity. And then we have Nextdoor. Um, this, again, is um, a great idea. I found out about this site uh, about a year ago, and I just think it's so, um, it's so cool, it's so original. It is actually a social media site just for your neighborhood. So that's right, um, you can create your account by typing in your address, and if someone in your neighborhood has already created the group, you will just be added to it. If not, and you're the first one there, you can invite others um, if you do know the, um, you know, like the email address for your, for your neighbors. So I believe it's um, like 94,000 neighborhoods across the U.S. have created accounts on nextdoor.com. Um, it's a great way to keep up to date with what's going on. Um, you know, it's, I just think it's really, really cool. Um, so I'll take you to the website, actually, so you can take a look at it here. Again, nextdoor.com. It's really easy to sign up. Um, you'll need to type in your street address and um, your email address. Once you, um, once you create your account, they're actually going to mail something to you so that you can confirm, that they can confirm that you actually live in that neighborhood. So it's very secure. Only the people who you live around will, um, will be allowed to access that group specifically for your neighborhood. Um, so the reason why I think this is a great tool for realtors is once you are registered on here, you will be able to build your profile. And on there, of course, you can state that you are a realtor and provide your contact information. So um, all of your neighbors will be able to see that. You know, your neighbors can also post in the group if they're thinking about putting their house up for sale or even recommend you as a realtor to the other neighbors. Um, so just remember, just like with other social media sites, the more you post on here, the more you are getting your name out there and um, being visible to your neighbors. Of course, you're definitely going to want to sell um, the house of one of your neighbors. I mean, you're right there in the neighborhood. So it is just a social media site. Um, everyone puts updates in their neighborhood, what's going on. Um, and if you haven't created an account on here yet, uh, you definitely need to. Um, it's a great way to market yourself to the people who are closest to you, your neighbors. So that is nextdoor.com. And um, I am, you know we're running a little short on time here. Um, the next one we have is Snap. Um, the Snap app will help you create your own real estate app and is available in the App Store and also the Google Play Store. So this offers um, MLS and IDX integration. And the idea of creating your app is to keep home buyers on your app so they don't use another brand. So take a look at some of these stats I have here on, um, on the screen. 88% of buyers expect a reply within one hour from an agent. 30% of agents respond to buyers within one hour. And 42% uh, of buyers expect a reply instantly. Now, a great way to respond to buyers um, right away is um, using the Snap app, creating your app. Um, it connects you with clients pretty much right away. They have an option to email you, text you, or call you directly from the app. And 68% of home buyers contact an agent as a result of a mobile search. Um, another stat on here, 71% of home buyers search real estate agents with an app. So you definitely want to be in that group. 71% um, is a pretty big, um, pretty big percentage. So um, 
there are, I'm going to show you again, since this is an app, I can't really show you uh, my phone through the webinar, but I can show you a few examples of how the, um, how the apps look. Now, if you can see my screen, which I've just pulled over, um, this is an example one here on their website, snaprealestate.com, and that's snap with two Ps. Um, this is the home view of one of the um, of one of the apps. As you can see on here, really easy for people to um, to use the search button here. Um, they can call you the agent with one click of a button. They can text the agent. I know texting is um, is a great way to get in touch with people right away nowadays if you can't reach them by phone. So they have the option to text you. Um, email, they also have a mortgage calculator on here, and they can also share the app. What's better than giving them the ability to share your app with other people? Um, so that's the home view here. They do also have, as I had mentioned, the MLS IDX search integration. Um, so the listings on your local MLS will feed through onto, um, onto your app. So they can search for anything in that area. They also have the option to do a map view search, which can be helpful. I know I just moved and I did the map view search um, to see where uh, where would be closest for me. So that's always a great thing when um, when home buyers are looking for a new place. And then they have on here the property listing view. Nice big picture on the phone of the property all of the information and um, all of the content which you or um, the listing agent had put onto the MLS feeds through. So on here, they can also schedule a showing, um, preferred showing date and time, and they can ask you a question. So there's a ton of things that they can do on here. Um, it's a very cool idea, especially with what was it, 71% of home buyers searching for an agent using some kind of app. Um, there is a charge for to create an app with Snap Real Estate, um, but for more information, definitely visit their site. Um, again, it is snaprealestate.com. And next on our list is the Hello app. Um, this is caller ID and blocking. Um, so the great thing about this app is you can find out who is calling you even if you don't have their number saved in your phone. Um, this app is available right now only for Android. Um, it combines the contact information which is stored in your phone with the information from Facebook. So with the Hello app, you can call and text for free with Messenger and not have to worry about using up the minutes on your phone plan. Um, this app gives you information like birthdays, um, the person's Facebook profile picture, and, um, and just other information that they can pull from, from Facebook. So this one is available, um, as I had mentioned, just for Android. It's available in the Google Play Store. To find out more, all you need to do is Google Hello Caller ID and Blocking. Um, it will be, again, the first thing to pull up. And since this is another app, unfortunately, I cannot show you an actual um, uh, example of it on my phone but I can show you online they do have um, they do have some examples of what will appear on your phone if you download this app so as you can see when I googled it it brought me to the Google Play Store and um, this is what your phone will look like it'll show call from the phone number the location uh, the person's name always great to have caller ID um, and the profile, their Facebook profile picture, uh, their job title, how many mutual friends you have, um, and information like if it's their birthday, when their birthday is. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. 
it's always nice to get some information, especially if you don't recognize a number to know who is actually calling you. Um, and again, you always have the latest info. If you're calling um, an Italian restaurant here, you can see how many people like it on Facebook. Always a good thing to check out for a restaurant. Um, how many stars, what time they're open. Uh, you can call for free using Messenger. And you can also see their location for, um, for the businesses. Now, another thing that this app offers is the ability to block unwanted calls. Um, it will appear on here. Um, if you want to block, as you can see, there is a button down here over towards the left-hand side. Um, it's really, really easy to block numbers especially if a lot of other people have blocked them. It will give you a little notification that so many other people have blocked this number. Um, so you never know, you might want to do it as well. So that is the Hello Caller ID and Blocking app. Um, I, you know, as I had said, caller ID is great. You always want to know who's calling you. Um, instead of having to maybe Google the number after they've called to see who it was, um, you can just see it right there in real time. And last but not least is Cam Scanner. Now, this one, out of everything we've gone over today, is definitely my favorite. Um, Cam Scanner is a great app. Um, it actually turns your smartphone or tablet into a high definition scanner. It syncs to all of your devices, so you will be able to view scan documents from anywhere. You know, how many times have you had to wait to send a document to a client or to anyone, in fact, until you got to a scanner? Um, I know it just happened to me. I was just moving and there was something that needed to be sent. Um, and I had already um, taken down my computer, monitors, everything. And I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Well, pulled out my phone, used cam scanner. It was done in one minute. So I definitely love this app. It is amazing. Um, a few tools of Cam Scanner. <clears throat> you can quickly scan multiple pages. They have a Smart Enhance um, button, which will um, which will actually um, zoom in and crop the um, the image for you. So if you scan something on a uh, countertop, it will delete the countertop around and just make sure that it's um, a perfect crop of just the document. Um, or the image. It, um, it can also extract text in images and generate a, um, just a text file. Another thing is you can actually search through your scanned documents um, for specific text and, um, and it will highlight those, those keywords. So it will pull up anything that you search for. It's a great way to keep track of receipts, you can put them into, um, into specific folders in your account. Um, let me show you here. Let me pull it up on, um, on Google Chrome. So all you need to do is go to camscanner.com. These are not great, um, great examples on here. It's usually crystal clear. I mean, you can see everything. Um, for some reason, these were done a while ago, and I believe the receipts were actually uh, crumpled up, so these are not the perfect example. Um, but uh, if you create your account here on camscanner.com and, um, and you have it on your phone, just use the same login information, and all of your documents which you have scanned will appear here on the web as well. So this is how you can access it from any device. Um, you can share the documents via email, and um, you can also create new folders, um, copy. I mean, I can just show you, for example, here, if I click on one, and um, this automatically cropped. Again, don't um, pay attention to the quality of the receipt because it scans everything um, almost perfect. 
So you can get a link to share the document if you need to share it with anyone. You can tag the document, you know, um, receipt, gas, whatever it was, or you can just download the document directly onto your computer here. Um, you can also zoom, trash the document, or expand it if you are having trouble reading it. So this is, um, you can also rename. So if I wanted to put receipt one, confirm, and, um, and that edits the name. So cam scanner is um, just really convenient if you are not in front of a computer or a scanner and you need to send something right away. Um, just download the app on, um, I believe it's on Google Play Store and on the App Store and, um, and start scanning wherever you are, anytime, anywhere. So that was our last um, app and tech tool for today's webinar. Um, I want to thank everyone so much for joining me today. You know, I really love researching these apps and tools for, um, for agents and hope that you found this um, helpful and I'd love to hear any feedback that you have. If you have any questions, please feel free to type those into the questions box. Um, so I will be able to see them.